There's a very important case that is, is coming up through our legal system. And uh, the case involves Morgan Wallen, who is a Nashville local a country music star. Um, I, I, don't, I don't really know how to think about it. I'm, I'm no expert in the law. So I was very fortunate to be able to sit down uh, with the Honorable Judge Matt Walsh to get his advanced legal opinion. Judge Walsh, thank you so much uh, for taking a moment to uh, condescend and uh, come on to give your legal advice. Of course, I can give you uh, five minutes. Okay. Uh, your Honor, you know that... Continue. You know the details of, of this case. Um, Morgan Wallen, a uh, uh, neighbor of mine, I guess, you know, a fellow Nashvilleian was at, at a rooftop bar in downtown and he threw a chair off the roof. Uh, this landed in front of some cops. They went up and they arrested him. So in your legal opinion, um, was this sufficient cause to arrest the country singer? Will uh, he be uh, given a fair trial? And uh, what should the sentence be? Uh, I mean, certainly you've got, uh, you have multiple charges here, all worthy of arrest. Um, you know, first of all, what are you doing? Morgan Wallen lives in, in Nashville, doesn't he? He's actually a resident of Nashville, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah. So what are you doing down on Broadway over the weekend? Everyone knows Broadway is for like white girls from New Jersey, not for actual residents of, uh, of Nashville. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing on Broadway? What are you doing at a rooftop bar as, I think he's in his 30s now, as a 30-year-old as a, as a man, and then you know you add those two charges on top of throwing the chair, which could have killed, you know, could have killed, could have killed ten people, depending on how closely they're packed together, mm -hmm. and depending on how heavy the, the chair is, which we don't have that information. But uh, I think it all it all adds up to a death sentence on on multiple charges. So I would I would execute him. I would execute uh, Morgan Wallen. He should be killed. That's my that's my legal analysis. Uh, but you you. Uh you probably won't be trying the case, right? I don't think, will this be coming before your court or will this be coming before, you know, I don't know, I guess in maybe The Hague, given your uh, legal interpretation. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, won't, I won't be trying the case. I don't, uh, unfortunately, we don't get cases like that in, uh, in, in, in my court. But I don't think it quite, it doesn't quite rise to the level of the sort of cases hmm. that we see um, in, in this courtroom. It's not quite at that, quite at that, you know, uh, level of importance. So what what are some of the cases that you adjudicate? Uh, well, listen, we have, uh, you know, our premiere episode. We have two very important cases. And uh, I don't want to get into any spoilers or anything like that. But I will say that one of the cases has to do with uh, a woman um, and her lips exploding while she was on a plane. She was given uh, inject. She took injections into her lips. Uh, you know, the botulism, the Botox or whatever it is. I didn't really pay attention to that part, but she she put something in her lips, and then the lips exploded on a plane. So we have exploding lips. We have cases that have to deal with um, a woman who got her finger bit by a dog, uh, and she actually had a cut. She had a laceration on her finger because a dog bit it. We have a case that has to do with a, a man who didn't want to cut the grass because he has an allergy to the grass, and there was a, uh, a very intense dispute between him and his roommate about who would cut the grass. Because one doesn't want to, the other has an allergy. So these are the these are the sorts of cases that we that we deal with, um, and you know, the, the the cases that that you know so called real courts wouldn't take, and they 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 bring to me, and I I give them uh, the seriousness that they deserve. I think. Right now, go to genucell.com slash Knowles, letter Y, letter T. Gen ninety is the skincare breakthrough from Genucell that not only addresses those pesky bags and puffiness under your eyes, but does so instantly. No more worrying about the effects of sleepless nights, stress, or seasonal allergies on your appearance. Gen 90 is here to provide immediate relief. Gen 90 instantly reduces the appearance of looking older anywhere you use it, around the eyes, the forehead, crow's feet, laugh lines, even the chin. You need to experience the luxury of Gen 90's technology. It is a paraben-free, silky smooth solution. You will feel the instant tightening as it touches your skin, another testament to its effectiveness and your confidence in its results. Genucel has 400% customer loyalty compared to other skincare brands, and there's a reason for that. 
Right now, you will not only get Gen Yourself's classic under eye bags and puffiness serum with every Gen 90 order, but also their luxurious Gen Yourself XV, a collagen builder moisturizer with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid in a pure natural base for stunning results day after day. Go to genucell.com slash Knowles, letter Y, letter T right now for incredible packages over 50, 50% during Genucell's spring sale. See your results or get your money back. Order right now. Get a free limited edition spa box with bonus gifts and free shipping. Go to genucell.com slash Knowles, letter Y, letter T. Genucell.com slash Knowles, letter Y, letter T. Judge, could you remind me where you went to law school? Um, it's, not, it's not about that. You know, this is not, uh, what I found is that, is that trying these cases doesn't have anything to do with education. You don't need to have read books. You don't have to be able to cite, you know, legal precedent. Um, because I'm, I'm tapping into something mm -hmm. deeper and more primal than, than that. Do you think, Judge, that, uh, you know, I, I know that the cases that you adjudicate are going to take the country by storm. Do you think there's a chance that you could receive a, a federal appointment in a second Trump term? And who knows, you know, if, if uh, Thomas or Kagan retire, could, do you think you could make it to the Supreme Court? Well, I would certainly hope so. I, I mean, what, what I will say is that obviously I'm pretty busy with the Judge Show. I'm pretty busy with the podcast and uh, other projects, but um, I, I am willing to throw my hat into the ring and to say that I would be, I'd be willing to at least consider if I was brought up for an, for an appointment to the Supreme Court. Um, you know, something, uh, you know, uh, a federal court at, at a lower level than the Supreme Court, I would, I would consider it. Um, I, would not, I wouldn't be insulted by the suggestion, I'll say that. Supreme Court, I would probably, I would probably accept that, even with everything I've got going on. Uh, and as I think is well established now, I am now America's foremost and most preeminent legal expert. Um, so I would expect, especially with, with Trump in the White House, that I would at least be considered for that role. And, and while the Senate, you know, considers uh, uh, the potential Judge Walsh appointment, could you give them a little sense of uh, your interpretive principle? You know, are you a an originalist? Are you a textualist? Or do you take a more liberal or even classical approach to constitutional interpretation? Yes. Great, great. Uh, your Honor, thank you so much. I don't want to take up any more of your time. I know that you're very, very busy. Uh, people can catch these important cases on Daily Wire Plus today. Uh, they can. If today is Tuesday, then they absolutely can. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you so much. Dailywire.com slash subscribe to catch all those important cases unjudged by Matt Walsh. Man, that was a great clip. Now, hold up, ring the bell. Subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel, and we will see you next time.